Chatbots have been around for a very long time. The reason people have not loved chatbots in the past is because they've been dumb. They've gotten better very, very slowly until now. This year, 2023, is the first year where you could actually have a gangster chatbot, which this is a moneymaker, guys. What's going on everyone? Ryan here. WhatsApp is finally here guys. I know that since day one, we've had a lot of folks ask about WhatsApp. I'm personally most excited for 11 labs and that's what I'm going to show you right now. We're going to get right to it. You'll need an API key for this. Go get one at um, 11 labs website and they give you free credits. I think you get um, like 30,000 credits you get. So this is how easy we've made this. This is going to blow your mind. After you enter your API key from 11 labs, head over to your flow section and click add. 11 labs. Click the block. Remember, we've already got OpenAI connected for you. So there's no need to um, grab a key for all you early adopters. Now, when August 1st hits, we no longer will be providing the same access. These early adopters are getting the best deal on a chatbot platform, period, because of all the things that we offer and at scale. This is made for agencies. This is made for forward thinking people to create AI systems. The early adopter deal is kind of crazy, but um, the standard deal that we offer will still beat all of the other platforms out there. So let's add content here and we're gonna generate a message using OpenAI. So we're gonna click actions and we are going to click OpenAI. We're already working on integrating our next large language model folks. I hope to be the first platform, real platform that is offering this language out of the box. So you could choose between OpenAI or you could choose to use Llama. When we get access to Bard and Claude, guess what? You're gonna have access to um, assistant for the Hilton Head Island Chamber. And let's give the assistant some instructions. A helpful assistant for the Hilton Head Island Chamber of Commerce. You are going to respond to all the message you get. Anyone can do that, easy. All right, so let's do, remember the conversations. We'll keep this on. And we're going to save this answer. Let's call this um, AI output. So what's happening here, guys, is we are calling the API of OpenAI for you. We're making the API call very easy. So we're telling the chat about what we want it to do, who we want it to be. I think that's solid. Let's give it a name. Your name is Kimberly. Continue. So now we've got text generated. The next thing that we typically do is show that text that we saved in this custom field called AI output. Once this text that gets generated from this information from OpenAI is um, returned, it's returned and saved here. So what we'll do is we'll add some text here just to show you how this works. We'll have our custom field AI output show up. So what will happen now, the flow will start, the text will be generated by OpenAI's API sent back to you, saved in your custom field. And then you're going to display that text in the next step. Now here's where 11 labs comes in. Choose 11 labs. You will only see this if you add in your API key in the settings section and integrations, but then click 11 labs. And now we can click on the action itself. The um, element here, the input text is what is going to be spoken. So first we've generated the text with OpenAI. Then we send that text as a custom field right? The custom field AI output, this will be the text that 11 labs uses to generate the speech. Follow me so far, making this easy peasy. Next, depending on your account will be dependent upon what voices you had to select from. So we've got all these different voices and some I've made many. I just had already by default when I created the account, well, there's one that is called Valley girl. Um, so we're going to choose that one because I think that's going to be funny. The next step here is 11 labs does its thing and it's going to take that information, run its magic and then send us back the file. So we've got to save that file into a custom field. We're going to add a new one. Let's just call this, um, 11 labs output. We got the open AI output here. We're telling 11 labs to take this text and use this voice and save what you create into this custom field. Continue. So we're almost done. Last step, add content one more time. So what element do you think we're going to use for the audio? That is going to be a file. And here we have audio and you're going to laugh when you see how easy this is for that custom field that we made here for 11 labs. We're just going to display it right here. You don't want to click the block, but where it says insert link. Now we've got a place to add that link and guess what we're going to do. 
add the custom feel baby that easy now we're done pop this real quick publish i think we should be straight there so what we've got is let's rename this let's call um generate and send audio save publish let's add one more thing let's run over a new block we are going to hit add content let's click actions and let's click open ai one more time we're going to click this top drop down and we're going to generate an image create a beautiful realistic image of the emotion derived from the current conversation that involves the last text input and we're going to save this as a new custom field ai image that basically means make a picture that's relevant save it save so let's click on the image block and again we've got that sneaky little insert link there click on that bad boy open up your custom fields bam ai image this is going to be our new default so i'm going to label this it's really good to be in a good habit of labeling your blocks and your flows so that you can refer to them later easily but what's happening here is we're going to make this the default reply so when we message our bot the default reply is going to hit and it's going to first generate the text based on my last text input of the user. This text is going to 11 labs and whatever voice we've told it to use, it's going to use that voice and generate the speech. And it's going to play that speech next. Immediately after that, we're going to have another API call to open AI. And based on this interaction here, we're going to get an image generated. Let's do this, get the link. We've only connected to web chat for now. So control V opens up the web chat. All right, so bam, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Hello there. I'm Kimberly, your helpful assistant from Hilton Head Island Chamber of Commerce. How may I assist you today? Hello there. I'm Kimberly, your helpful assistant from the Hilton Head Island Chamber of Commerce. How may I assist you today? The thing that I'm, we need to do, if we're going to make this our default reply, we need to go to our settings and we're going to click on integrations and we're going to turn off the default reply here because that's gonna override. And then what we're gonna do, general default reply, just switch that to 11 labs default save. So what is the nicest beach on the island? It should take just a second, boom. And look, and look. I'll do my best to provide you with some helpful information about Hilton Head Island, even if it means suppressing my inner snobbery. <sighs> what can I assist you with today? Oh, humble and deserving individual. That is freaking hilarious to me. But you know what, we're, we're gonna just take it up another notch. Let's change that voice. This is only for educational purposes in the name of education. You are Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Respond like Trump, who is grumpy. I'm just gonna like double down on it. Hey, what is your name? Now it's taking the text and it's generating it into um, audio. I don't have time for this nonsense. Boom, so we asked the question, give me some life advice. Grumpy Trump, what did he say to us? Listen, I've got better things to do than play along with your little game. What's your question anyway? So you see how it's listening to my prompt there? And guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm always here to help you. And so is the rest of our team and our chatbot. If you haven't tested our chatbot yet, you're missing out. Go do that right now. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day. And um, be on the lookout for the next video soon. Peace.